So um, welcome, welcome everybody. I'm gonna show you how you can uh, use uh, WhatsApp in your websites. So uh, let's just preview what I mean. So we go into an incognito and then go to the particular websites and there are all test websites and are there all, all fake emails and there are all prepay numbers. So don't worry about that. And then you see this telephone number and then we can submit and there it is. And you can see here, hello YouTube. This is the message that we get receive on the WhatsApp. And when you are going to the website itself, Then you can see this is the fields and to the automator and the recipes or the recipes. Then you can see that I've added the WhatsApp and four runs. And you can see in here that I've added the WhatsApp and this is the message that you saw on the WhatsApp. So very handy uh, if somebody uh, contacts you on the forum then they directly get an email or when uh, somebody has pay, paid then they get the email well we have received your payment so now you will be subscribed and you can do everything what you want you can add a new action and then we'll blah 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 and make a whole list of actions we are going to do it on another website so this is the website that we are going to using this is another website another test website and then we go into the settings so we have our own animator and we go into the settings and by the way you can also do it with Amelia booking plugin Amelia booking plugin you can do it with public connect but it's a very bit difficult with public connect maybe I'm gonna show you that later on let's disconnect so we are gonna use the block from Ancani uh, Animator and they're going to explain you how you can create first a test app but we are gonna go straight away to a live uh, to a live app so um, let's make it go in incognito don't use your browser but go in incognito otherwise you will get some problems um, so this is the incognito uh, first of course you have to make a uh, business and you have to add your telephone number now use a prepaid telephone number don't use the telephone number that you're using now for the whatsapp because when thing broken then you lose all uh, your whatsapp conversations uh, well it, 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 you can also make a backup of course but when you didn't then you lose always everything it's not necessary, just use an, uh, a prepaid number or something like that, or, no, or another uh, cheap number. So business, we're going to select that. So we have created a new app, my apps. If you can see here, we have one app and then we're going to create a new app. And then we go to the business and then we go to the next. And then we're going to shoot for the business where you have added the telephone number from the WhatsApp. How you can do that you can you, you can uh, read it on the blog from um on the animator we're not going to do it, it now but use that particular um business so otherwise the number will not appear um, is it okay don't use things like um, YouTube or WhatsApp in the name, otherwise um, they don't accept it. You can't use Facebook or something like that, Facebook blah 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 or WhatsApp blah blah blah. They're gonna block you. So. Then we wait. And then you see this field. Choose for WhatsApp. And then you have 
have a temporary. Now we are gonna we, we are not going to do the temporary, but we're gonna do the live version. But just choose the telephone number that you've added. If you don't have a telephone number, then you have to add a telephone number here. But keep in mind when you have already a business, then you can add a, you can't add another the, the same telephone number again. And when you have uh, all ready and uh, whatsapp accounts on your on your phone then you have to uh, delete it first or deactivate it uh, before you can uh, edit in here so this is why the, the reason why i say you have to use two numbers just use two numbers you're rich enough <laughs> now there is also another way but we're not going to discuss that but as you can see here they use the template hello world Later on, I'm gonna show you how you can find that template and how you can customize it. If you're using Public Connect, then you have to use this code and this AP, and then you have to uh, embed it in Public Connect, and you have to uh, delete these characters. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Very complicated, and we are not going to do it on this tutorial yet. Let's just go to the website where we want to have it. So this is the particular website. It isn't. This is the website. This is the integration with WhatsApp. So uh, we first need uh, two, three things: the asset token, the phone number ID, and the uh, WhatsApp business account. So it's connected to the business account of your WhatsApp, and where you can find it is very easy. Of course, it's easy. This is the phone number. So just copy it. You can see it. You can't mistake. It says. It's clear, obvious, and then you have to copy this one. Uh, if you can't do this, well then maybe this is not something for you, building websites. And as you can see here, this is the essence token and this is the um, token that will be available for 24 hours. But we are not going to use this. We uh, are not going to use this token because we are going to use a live token. So we only have to embed the phone number ID and the WhatsApp account ID. Once you've done that, then you have to go to the configuration. So don't forget to use the telephone number that you have registered. Eh? At the number, if you don't have... Uh, done that yet then you have to verify it you get a uh, message and then you have to enter a little code and then you go to the configuration and when you are here then you see here um, the verified tokens but first we have to go to the enter the business we go we have to go to the business accounts so where you have it in here um, so let's see yeah just go here to the block and then to the best business settings and open it in the incognito don't forget it please don't forget it and there you have it let's get rid of this one once again use the right um, business accounts otherwise it won't work and the whole show won't go on so uh, we have to use this is uh, let's see then you can see here the business accounts and um, you see here the new token but you have to go to the system users and um, generate a new token so when you ha don't have a system user then you have to add a system user and the system user how you can do that I already did it so I'm not going to do it now but we want to know how you can do that then you can read the article and there it explains how you can use an art uh, a new uh, system user the system user has to be an administrator so check that and don't forget it otherwise it won't work 
So uh, I already did it, and then we are going to um, generate the, uh, a new token. So um, as you can see here, this is uh, the two apps. Mm, let's see, this is not the right one. Uh, yes, it's, it's the right one because I already had made two tokens. So generate a token and then you can see here the new app. So you don't see it now in here. These are the apps that you already added when you have made multiple apps. But the system user got to be uh, connected with the particular app that we are using now for this website. So we have to choose the app. This is the app that we have selected and just toggle on the message. Let's see the WhatsApp business message and this too. Once again, it's, it says in the article of Anconi Animator. And then you have here the token. You can copy it. And if you click on it, then you can see here the token as well. And you can also see the details. And then you're going back to the website. So, um, yeah, I'm going to use this one. So, this is the live token that we are using. And connect. And it must be provided an app token. Blah, blah, blah. So, we did something wrong. And we try it once again and it's wrong again yes okay we're going back we did something wrong we click on okay and it must be under here but it isn't select the app mm, let's do it just once again mm, so this is the one and this is the one generate the token copy the token and then we choose for this and then we go to the apps and then we go to the particular um, app that we are building and we toggle everything on and we save it and there it is so the token is now has been added try it once again and now it must be green okay it's not so what did i do wrong now you can see how you can get stuck mm. Generate once again the token. Maybe I forgot something, and otherwise, we are going to refresh the page. So we copy it, we say okay, and apps, and that's the one, and we are going to save it. And as we put it in there, then let's see. And now it's successfully. So it can take a while <laughs> if you can see. Sometimes it gets wrong. Maybe it has to do something with the connection. We have the web URL. So we are going to copy the web URL. Now watch this because you think well maybe i have to put in here the web url nope is with the apps so um, we are just going to back where where we started um so these are the apps and then to get started so you go once again to developers facebook.com and then go back to let's start it and then you see the particular app that we are building and then the configuration 
and in here you have to edit so this is the configuration by the whatsapp is the configuration then you have to edit and then the callback it's a lot of uh, copy and paste um, or whatever and then we're gonna copy it and paste it verify and it's good to go and then uh, manage you see here manage see, you see there is you have one product number and one test number it this must be just like that otherwise you have done something wrong and you have to start all over again so manage and then for messenger and then subscribe and done and we should be good to go <laughs> don't forget to save the whole thing and then we are going to uh, the recipes and as you can see here we have already made a lot of recipes but let's just see the farms and this one I've made this one so we're gonna edit it and then we're gonna make it required don't forget to uh, able auto country select and select your country otherwise <laughs> it won't work and then um, copy the form you have to copy the form and so this is the form that we're using in Dutch and um, this is the form no this is not the form <laughs> otherwise we are just going to make another form um, well let's just make another one add a new one anyone so it can also be anyone eh? forms when the form is submitted and it was this one and then save it action whatsapp and since the whatsapp to a particular number so the number came from the form that we have made it was the telephone number and then we say and then we save it and then we publish it and then we go into all the pages and then we just go to Elementor and these days I'm not so great fan of Elementor but uh, whatever so this is the form and then we are going to preview it now it might can be so that it won't work now but uh, because it can take a, l a little while and no, it works so uh, here it is and then you're good to go now guys if you have uh, some question uh, you can also do this uh, whatsapp integration with Amelia but uh, if you have a question uh, then uh, reach out to the support of Onconi Animator or leave it behind in um, the comments. I hope this uh, is helpful for you and if you want to learn no more then subscribe and I'll see you to the next generation tutorials. <laughs> generation. See you.